Hey, how we doing? Juicy here, Cricket Strength. Now, instead of exercise of the week, we're going to bring you something a little bit different. The season's just started here in the UK, uh, and when the season starts, we know the next day tends to be a little bit sore and stiff. Uh, the body struggles to move. So what we're going to do is bring you our Magnificent 7. Okay, there's seven little mobility and release exercises we use with the therapy balls, just to try and get the body uh, back to some sort of neutrality and ease the pain of the bowling. Okay, so what we're going to use, uh, we're going to use three balls. We're going to use the, the soft gorgeous ball, we're going to use the double plus balls, and the alpha ball. Okay, so we'll just go through them. Uh, basically, for each one, you can sort of spend as little as much time as you want. So if you've only got a quick 10 minutes, just do a minute on each. You know, if you've got a half hour, brilliant, spend sort of five minutes on each. So it's, it's basically up to you. So the first one we're going to do is for the pec. Obviously, when we're bowling, that whole region of the chest gets very tight and sore and we're coming into external rotation. If that's tight, that starts pulling everything around. So you want to release that to let the shoulder sit where it should, okay? So the alpha ball is brilliant for this. We get that just in the top corner, okay? Right in the top corner of the chest, make sure you do both sides. The side, just on your front, in that top corner. I usually start with the hand behind and just getting pressure through the ball, okay? Once you've done that, you can then start to do little movement patterns in and around any little tight areas, but just give it a good solid pounding. And when that releases, your shoulder feels so much good, it starts sitting back where it should, okay? Next one on the front again, gut smash, okay? The gut smash is one we never really, or people don't really use, but it's awesome. Just make sure it's a soft ball, not a hard ball, around the belly button. And you're just gonna lay on it, and do some diaphragm breathing in and out. Now this won't feel particularly nice at the time, but it will give you massive benefits, especially to the lower back. If you can do sort of five to 10 minutes of that, brilliant, okay, get it going. Next time, uh, next one we're gonna use, the alpha ball again into the hip, okay? Now we're gonna get that, that front of your hip where you've got that bone, we're gonna sit this just above it. You can, if you've got enough time, do it just below as well. We're going to start just above. Again on the front, in there, breathe into it. It'll feel nice and grisly, a lot of attachments around there. We'll just get stuck in and you can move around, start moving the leg into rotations. Uh, you gotta scrape it side to side, up and down. But just give it a decent going over. Okay, another place which gets really junky the ITB. So we're going to use the plus balls in their pouch onto the side and now we can use them that way or that way. Now we're going to use them sort of long ways so it goes right along that ITB. So put all the weight on it and then just start coming forward and back. It's not going to feel great but if we can just try and loosen up the whole area it'll be so much better for the legs. Okay again Sort of four to five minutes on each side, perfect. Now we're gonna take one of the balls out and we're gonna get into the calf, okay? If you get into the middle section of the calf, brilliant. Even just holding it there, you'll feel it straight away. You can put one leg over the top and just come up and down. And then you can just pull the foot up and down itself, come side to side, just scrape it. Just get right into all those structures, you get them unstuck. And this is where the balls are so much better than the foam roller, because the foam roller just sort of slides over the top, but the, the uh, balls, the balls get right in, around, get into the deep tissue and fascia, and loosen it all up nicely. Okay, again, make sure you do both. Back to the QL. Now, we're gonna get, oh, sorry, the alpha ball into the QL. The QL is a deep muscle in your back where lots of muscles sort of attach in and around the area and gets really tight when bowling. So just one side of the back, so just like in there, lay down, just lay on the ball. Just laying on the ball, you'll feel, it'll feel quite intense. And once you're used to laying on it, you can just drop one leg out, two legs out, straighten and bend, move it in circles anywhere and just scrape left to right, but just get right into that area. It'll feel very, very tight, but afterwards it'll be worth it. And the last one we're gonna do in our Magnificent Seven, 
put both balls, the plus balls, in their pouch, and we're going to hit between the shoulder blades, okay? So, I'm going to get them in there, and you can just, just lay there, and put the arms up, doing different movement patterns, hug yourself and rotate rounds, and you can work up sort of between the, the tops of the shoulder blade down to just the last set of ribs, but get it going, that'll loosen it up nicely, okay? So like I said, spend sort of five minutes, 10 minutes, half an hour, whatever you want, but you'll feel the benefits. It won't be nice at the time, but afterwards, it feels a lot better. And you see, I'm just doing it in my front room. Do it anywhere you want, okay? Enjoy, see you next time.